Panasonic. As Panasonic approaches its 100th anniversary in 2018, it faces unprecedented difficulties, notably a massive loss of roughly $19 billion over 2011 and 2012. For years, its Ideas for Life positioning had fueled innovation, generating successful products like its rugged Toughbook notebook computers. Its television sets and other home electronics ran into trouble, however, when the economy stalled just as consumers began to treat flat-screen LCD televisions as a commodity. Further, a strong yen and high manufacturing costs in Japan made it difficult for Panasonic to compete on price. Anti-Japanese sentiment from a territorial dispute proved a stumbling block in China. Finally, the acquisition of Sanyo in 2009, designed to help the company sell more green energy products, was disappointing. A major restructuring by new president Kazuhiro Tsuga in fall 2012 scaled back manufacturing in Japan, abandoned the mobile phone market overseas, and cut back investment in solar panels and rechargeable batteries. Tsuga emphasized that Panasonic will streamline business units and emphasize profit, not just revenue growth.